Local 4 News starts now with a breaking news alert. We are following two breaking news stories today. The first is a home explosion in Macomb County. Firefighters are on the scene right now battling the flames in Jamestown near I-94 and 23 Mile Road. And as you can see through this live look from Sky 4, the natural gas line is still active, making it impossible for crews to extinguish the flames right now. We don't know if anyone did get hurt or was inside the mobile home when it exploded, but we will bring you an update as soon as we know more. Also breaking this noon, an investigation is underway in Sterling Heights after a shooting leaves a woman dead, and we're told it was all over an argument. Good afternoon, everybody, at this noon hour. Thank you for joining us. I'm Karen Drew. We do have Sean Lay live from Sterling Heights. Sean, what can you tell us? Let's walk everyone through this because people are going to recognize the building where this happened or the business. We're right at the corner of Mound and 19 Mile. Family run business here, Regal Palace Family Fun Entertainment, and the other business here, Koff. Koff makes soap. People are going to recognize Regal Palace because it has kids' parties inside with video games and bounce houses. Both are related, tied together, but this happened, police say, on the Koff side of things during a horrible argument. Follow me this way because here's the building. Again, Parents take their kids here for parties and whatnot. None of that was happening right now. But at nine this morning, police get the call. I'll walk you right up to the tape. They roll up here, as you can see their cars. There's a 54 year old woman's body right there in the parking lot. And she was rushed to the hospital. She's deceased. And her brother is standing right here, called 911. He called police here to the scene. Let me show you the video here. Now, you can see all the yellow placards right here in the parking lot. 9 a.m. is they're opening up essentially with the Koth Industries, the soap industries here. And that's evidence of a shootout. Brother and sister shooting it out in the parking lot because they had some sort of argument, family-run business, and the argument was related to the family-run business. Again, the brother sticks around, and he is talking to police. Now, we just got an update from Sterling Heights Police. They pick up the details from here. Upon further investigation, uh, the other person that was involved in the shooting was still on scene. Uh, we interviewed, uh, preliminary interviews revealed that this was a dispute between a brother and sister over business. And ultimately, they got into a shooting together against each other. And we're still in the mix trying to investigate the particulars to the shooting. Again, brother and sister together in business here have a shootout. Sister is dead. She's 54 years old. Brother is being talked to right now at the Sterling Heights Police Department. No charges yet. He may be saying he was protecting himself during this awful, violent incident. However, if you look around here, there's businesses here, gas station there. This is a wild shootout, Karen. Others could have been hit by this gunfire. We're going to continue to dig for information right here. Have more on later editions of Local 4. Karen, back to you. Wow, what a story. All right, thank you, Sean. We'll check back with you later this afternoon. Sure thing. Southfield man now facing charges after allegedly attacking his father with a hatchet. Police say 22 year old John Cornelius Darby, the fourth, attacked and severely injured his 51 year old father on Tuesday. They say Darby then took his father's truck after the attack before being stopped by police and taken into police custody. Police say the victim is in critical condition at the hospital. He is expected to survive. A woman is in serious condition at this hour after being stabbed at a motel over in Redford. This happened this morning. It was about 515 at Park Drive Motel. That's near Plymouth Road and West Outer Drive. Police say the woman was stabbed by another woman who was detained by police about two minutes down the road at Rouge Park. Police have not yet released the identity of the victim, but they say she was taken to the hospital and this is serious condition this afternoon. We're learning more about the police scene on Mendota Street on Detroit's west side. According to witnesses, a police officer was hit by a car following a fight between a woman. The officer will be okay. No word on what started the fight or how that police officer was hit by the car in the process. We'll keep you updated. So if you have a cat and maybe you're thinking about getting rid of its claws, a new bill could change your plans. Michigan lawmakers are introducing a new bill that would make it illegal for veterinarians to perform claw removing surgeries on cats. The only exception is for medical reasons. Declawing cats is a common practice. Some do it for aesthetic reasons. Others do it to protect their furniture from scratches. Michigan would be the third state to ban the practice behind New York and Maryland. 
All right, are you going away this Memorial Day? If you are flying, buckle up, everybody. Airports across America are gearing up for the busiest weekend in years as the nation bounces back from the pandemic. AAA is expecting the number of air travelers to exceed pre-COVID levels, and nearly 3.5 million Americans will fly this weekend. Pete Mooton has what you need to know before traveling. It is the start of a summer of tests for air travel, with the Transportation Security Administration planning to screen 10 million passengers between Thursday and Monday. The world's busiest airport in Atlanta will be even busier than normal, with officials there anticipating 300,000 passengers a day. Many of us are still trying to make up for the time we lost during the pandemic. From TSA's perspective, we are ready. We are up over, finally over, pre-pandemic levels. Delta Airlines says holiday weekend ticket sales are up 17% from last year. American Airlines says it alone will serve 2.9 million passengers. United Airlines says this will be the busiest Memorial Day holiday in more than a decade. This weekend will be a test of the system. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg says flight cancellations are down after last summer's repeated meltdowns. Airlines insist they are right-sized, operating fewer flights on larger airplanes, and right-staffed. A CNN analysis shows the industry has hired nearly 48,000 new workers in the last year. We're doing everything we can to uh, press airlines to deliver that good service. And if there is an issue, we have your back. Though airlines worry it's the federal government that could cause delays. Two in 10 air traffic controller jobs are empty. That's 3,000 positions nationwide. This week, back-to-back -back staffing issues in Denver forced the FAA to slow flights. United Airlines CEO Scott Kirby calls air traffic control shortages his number one concern. That doesn't just impact those flights, that bleeds over to the whole system for the rest of the day. For now, the FAA has opened up 169 new, more efficient flight routes up and down the East Coast even limiting space launches to off-peak times. For passengers, all that matters is getting where they want to go, knowing one snag could slow the start of summer. If things run smoothly, people do their jobs efficiently, then it's a great trip. Pack your patience, come prepared. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that I get home without a hitch. All right, AAA does say that obviously it's going to be very busy on the roads as well, so you definitely need to plan your trip since a lot of people will definitely be opting to drive on this holiday weekend. So if you're headed up north or perhaps out to the west side of the state and you need to fill up your tank, prices are going to vary. Houghton Lake is the pick spot of the northern lower peninsula at 356 a gallon. Across the bridge to Sault Ste. Marie, it is 374 and on the west side in Grand Rapids, it's $3.66. North to Traverse City, that's 365 and if you are planning a staycation, prices here at home are 360 a gallon. And we are gearing up for the holiday weekend and the weather is on the same page. The cool weather is leaving just in time, isn't it, Ron? It is. You know, we had that really cold weather this morning, Karen. Well, things are warming up this afternoon. It is going to be much warmer over the next couple of days. And if you're traveling anywhere across our state or even around the region, clear skies for the most part and mild out there. So again, if you're going to go by road, by flight, for the most part, anywhere across the Great Lakes, it's looking good. These are the sky conditions. If you have your blinds open, your curtains open, or if you've been outside today, you know it is sunny out there. That is the case for all of us here in Metro Detroit. We're taking a look down at Hart Plaza right now. Things are looking beautiful. A lot of sunshine. Remember to use the sunscreen. It is going to be intense with that sunshine, so you do want to protect yourself out there. Right now, it's 65 in Detroit. We're around 64 in Ann Arbor and Port Huron. 65 also in Adrian. And so these are the top headlines for weather. We're going to be warming up into the 80s and 90s. Not quite getting there today, but we are looking ahead for that weather and it is going to be looking good. Unfortunately, it is going to be very dry out there, but there are some changes in the forecast coming up. And if you want to stick around and see that forecast with us or to see it on the app, all you have to do is download the forewarned weather app. You can get the accurate forecast for your neighborhood. And of course, you can always access the forewarned at Zach Track 40 radar. Karen. Thank you very much, Ron. Artificial intelligence is all around, and now it is helping scientists speed up their work. How AI technology targeted a dangerous drug resistant superbug that is often found in hospitals. Plus, the deadline for debt talks are making progress, but there are still hiccups. The topics holding up negotiations.